Fellas, we just made it near Moab. We are in Utah, and I found this Twilight Zone place. It's got the mystery van. You can get fuel. You can get prime rib jerky. Just not today. It's closed. <laughs> um, yeah, we're almost there. We're almost to our campsite. anyone was wondering what the facilities are like. It's a vault toilet, open air, nice to take a dump beneath the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, good job. That was that was my Damn. Probably a good thing there's no water because we probably wouldn't have been able to. We're heading to a trail <laughs> that we believe is called Mary Jane Trail. <laughs> it has a waterfall at the end, supposedly. I guess that would start the engine on sure the fire or something. But it's crazy. It's I'm not the most crazy. I dragged my van. Get a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But this van is loaded down, down right now. So it's pretty crazy. Um. But we made it. Well, we're making it. How far? Another half mile. Start out here on the Mary Jane Trail. Good spot? We found it, yeah. Nice. We're just gonna follow this creek now. So, I guess I probably should have been filming the entire thing because there's a couple forks on when we're getting here. And, but yeah, there's like a post up at the beginning that goes off to the right that shows like that's the main trail. But go look on the left because, uh, yeah, this trail's pretty legit. First impressions? Yeah. Uh, red. Pretty rad. Red. 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 red rock. It's not rad, it's red. Well, it is rad. Too. And it's rad. It's red brad. I think so, I agree. This is a cool landscape. Cool landscape, yeah, a lot of red. I love that snow-capped mountain right behind it, too. Yeah, right back there. Yeah. We'll see it, we'll probably get a better view of that. Thing. This is where we're gonna cross. The trail goes that way. So, I'm gonna try going this way. Just make sure it ain't too slippery. Which, these shoes are gripping really well. It's funny we're in Moab because I'm wearing the Moab ventilators. They're pretty good. I like the last version of shoe I had better. I still wear them as work shoes and stuff, but they're pretty beat up. Had them a couple years, but they're super comfortable. And these are pretty good too. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. Wonder uh, what kind of rock that is. It's barely solid. Not much it's sticking out, but well, hell, it's probably gonna look pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'd probably follow the stronger current. Being tall. 
beautiful boulder. So we set up camp last night and we just hiked this area around the campsite, got up on some big rocks, it was kind of cool. Took a few photos, especially at sunset, those are cool. But I found this Mary Jane trail before coming and we all decided to check this one out. So far, it has not let down. It's great. It's beautiful, challenging enough. Um, a few crossovers in the river. I have water shoes, but I haven't had to use them yet. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see what's at the end of this thing. I hope you are too. <laughs> Imagine a flash flood right now. Oh, <laughs> I feel like yeah, we're, we're like right in the ravine. It kind of feels like Lion King where all the <laughs> wildebeest stampede. Yep. And Hector Simba. It's cooling off on our on our way to the fall. Hey. Look what I found. A bird nest. Without any bird. That's how I want to travel. <laughs> Holding up all right? Oh, shit. <laughs> Jane just walks through like a boss. I just have long legs and step over that stuff. I'm your over the shoulder shot, Jaden. This <laughs> video is going to be you narrating. What's up? We took that turn back there where it went dry. I really wanted to. I was thinking about doing There's that a rope back. there. He started climbing it and I got really? it like from undershot and then he falls off. Danger. Jaden's middle name. Pretty epic. Straighten that chest out, you know. Yep, you nailed it. There's so many cool little things to see after every single turn. Now we're getting to bigger boulders. So you can see that's how I walk past one. And the river seems to be getting louder. I think we're getting closer. Um, a few others of us are way behind there resting, but we were kind of scouting ahead to see how far, how much more. But I dig it. This is an excellent trail. I don't think we could have picked a better one for the first experience here near Moab. Thank 
<laughs> I bet. Pretty cool. Here we are, we made it to the end. The reward is worth it. Look at that pose. <laughs> oh man, always feels good getting to your destination and achieving something that's a little strenuous. I know it's not an easy hike, this one wasn't. It's kind of far, especially if you're not doing it regularly. So, very cool location, very great workout. Is it hard? No. Okay. It's easy. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, now it is about 4.30 and I think it took us about four hours to get there. So we took a few breaks along the way, so hopefully we can get back before 8 and uh, go get a campfire going again. Colors are beautiful right now in this canyon. It is definitely golden hour when you're deep, this deep. And I was kind of nervous about walking all this distance back, but it's going to be enjoyable. I'm really enjoying the lighting down here. The contrast might make for a, another few good opportunities for some photography. starting to get tired, but I think we're getting close to being done, and I'm going to sleep really, really well tonight, because that feels like something you earned. It was worth it. Very nice trail. Beautiful views. I was telling some of the others earlier, it's just crazy how biodiverse you think a desert you wouldn't think a desert is, but there's so many different plant life. There's a bee on that flower. Well, we made it back to the trailhead. Time is 7, about 15. So we left there around 4.30, yeah. got back at 7.15, so that's a one way. So other people calculating, there's uh, what you can expect if you walk and take a few breaks along the way. I'm tired. How do you feel? I'm fine. Oh, Jay Jaden can do another one, he says. No. <laughs> I'm fatigued. How's a good workout? All right, tomorrow. Second day of adventures. We are here at, where are we at? Faux Falls. Man-made waterfall, Faux Falls, Fee Fi, Faux Falls are down there. Big lake, big views, big canyons, big excitement. No? Everyone seems... I thought there was a swimming hole at the bottom, but we drove to the top. I just keep going and going. I was like, oh, we found the waterfall already, guys. <laughs>
far as ice cold coming from those snow cap tops. It feels good. They all were gonna try to swim, but <laughs> it's way too cold for them. It feels like it's next to the snow. <laughs> this place is huge. Groovy. Doesn't go very deep. Just some spiders. like in the water. <laughs> Loving the water. <laughs> I just scared the dogs out. <laughs> and before I could even say anything, your dog just starts barking. <laughs> Kind of cold. So we are in arches and we drove up to see a delicate arch and we're taking the path. It's about a 0.5 mile hike. So not as hard as the ones we've been doing. No. 